the last uh, type of question we have for the continuous function sections. We're going to start with a function that has a point removed. And what we want to do is fill this point in with the right value. So the limit equals the value that we put in there. And we need to figure out what y value the limit approaches. And then that y value will be the one that we choose right here. So here's our example. We're going to take this function, x squared minus 9 over x plus 3, whenever x is not equal to 3, uh, negative 3. And negative 3, remember, that's the value that would give us undefined right here. And the step function, we're going to pick a c value, pick a y value that will assign this function when x is equal to negative 3. So we want to make this function continuous on the real numbers. Now, whenever x is not negative 3, we have a rational function. And remember back, rational functions are continuous on their entire domain. Their domain of this rational function is all real values that are not negative 3. So this would be the domain of the rational function. So the function's already continuous here. All we need to do is make the function continuous at x equals negative 3. So we'll start here. So make f of x continuous at x equals negative 3. So let's start with the value this time. f of negative 3, looking at this function, when x is negative 3, the value is c. We get to pick c. Uh, so we'll decide what c is. Now this needs to equal the limit. So let's take the limit x, as x approaches negative 3 of f of x. So here's our function. We can now factor the numerator, x squared minus 9. Remember, this is difference of squares. And if you don't recall that algebra, uh, if you have x squared minus uh, a squared, oops, x squared minus a squared, this is x minus a times x plus a. Difference of squares or conjugate factoring. This is equal to the limit. x approaches negative 3. x minus 3. x plus 3 divided by x plus 3. Now we can cancel these two here. And we're left with just a limit. x approaches negative 3 of just x minus 3. Now from here, we can uh, plug in negative 3 in for x. We get negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. The reason we couldn't plug that in earlier is because we would have been dividing by 0 at this step. So I did need to cancel this x plus 3 in the denominator. So this is our limit value. And remember the definition of continuous, the limit value needs to equal the function value. So the limit needs to equal the value at x equals negative 3. And we got the limit was negative 6. The function value is c. So the c value has to be negative 6. And what that will have done is we filled in the right y value here. So that hole that was in the function is now filled with the correct y value.